What's up, you guys? My name is Matt, and I want to welcome you to the channel. If you're new here, I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel and like this video today. You guys, we're talking about Solar Road. This is a project that I kept saying, ah, I want to cover it. Ah, I don't want to, because in my opinion, it's one of the more high risk projects out there, but it's also been one of the most lucrative projects out there. I've been in this thing now for four weeks. And if you've been in my Telegram group, we've all been in it too for that long. I'll have the Telegram link down below because I often talk about projects that I don't there that I don't talk about here on the channel. And when it comes to Solar Road, I, I got into this thing when the price was $47. Now the price of SOD is $1,349. It's going up by eight to 12% a day each and every single day so far. So Solar Road says that when you deposit money on here, you're providing liquidity. They're using that liquidity to produce uh, super computing. And to me, there's absolutely no way to verify this. So you kind of have to look at this and think to yourself, this could be one huge Ponzi. It, it could be. And most likely it probably is. We don't know that. So we're just kind of using some trust here. This is super huge in the Asia market. It's blowing up. They just had a, this event here in Macau and we'll go over what some of the updates were there. But at this stage in the game, it's been around for about five weeks, the project's been running. So the, as you can see, this token is already going astronomical. People are comparing it to a project called Fintosh, which is a lot of similarities to this project. They have a different token, very similar to the SOD token. And the S and the Fintosh token is something crazy, like $80,000 a token. It's been around for like 11 months at this point, something like that. You guys can do your own research on that and verify it for yourself. So now we're five weeks into this and you really got to play this smart. So I'm not saying, hey, everybody go jump into Solar Road right now. But I'm just going to break down how I view it and what I'm thinking about moving forward. Before we do that, the way that you get into this, it's on the Binance Smart Chain. You just go over to Wallet and then you're going to hit Deposit. So you're going to go and change this to USDT, I guess, if that, that's the way I did it. So you're going to need USDT on BSC, put the amount that you want to deposit in here. You're going to confirm it. Once you deposited your USDT, you jump over to the leasing. Okay, this is one thing that you can do. You can go over here and you put the amount that you want. You put the token that you have, which is USDT. So, you, you know, whatever it is, $100 USDT, and you choose your leasing cycle. So you can choose 60, 30, or 15 days. They're going to give you 0.8%, 1%, or 1.2% based on whatever uh, lease cycle days you choose. You hit lease, and then you'll see your staking details here. And you can see um, you know, how much you've earned and how much you have staked there. So that's one way you can do this. But now that we're in it this far, this is something that nobody else is really talking about or telling you that's covering Solar Road because by telling you this, you're not, I'm not going to get referral commissions if you buy OTC. I'm totally fine with that because I'm not in this for referral commissions. I'm literally showing you my journey. So anyway, this is the Solar Road OTC. Now this is not affiliated with Solar Road. So this is a, a risk in itself using this. I've used it several times. You can buy a coin here. Now you're going to pay a premium. So a coin is their stable coin that's pegged to the price of one dollar, one USDT. But look here on the OTC, one a coin equals one dollar and three point nine cents. So you're going to pay a premium for buying it off of here. But you're paying that premium so that you can buy the shortcut to take your a coin because when you're leasing in here, you're leasing your USDT. You're going to actually earn a coin. You're going to take that a coin. You're going to go to the SOD mining and you're going to pick one of these mining pools and you're going to deposit into the mining pool and you're going to earn the SOD token. The SOD token is the one that's skyrocketing in price. The one that went from, you know, th uh, 20 something dollars. That's now $1,300 in five weeks. That's another way you can play it. The, the other way is that you can just buy the SOD token right off the OTC. Now you're going to be paying that premium for it, but you're taking that gamble that you think the price is going to go way higher, right? So you're buying one for $1,579. When the actual market price, if we go back to the homepage, is $1,349. Now, every single day, so far at least, nobody knows if this will continue, the price has gone up every single day. And it's going up by uh, magnitudes more every day. So it's like $120, $130 a day at this point, it's going up. So if you buy OTC, you're taking that calculated bet, which that's what I did. I picked up one of them at about $400. I wish I would have picked up more with the idea that that's that I'm just going to hold that. It's sitting in my in my Rabby wallet, just sitting there waiting for me to sell it. Now you can sell it on the OTC market and try to get a higher price, or you can actually deposit it back into the Solar Road DAP by going here, clicking SOD, putting the amount, confirming it. And once it's in there, then you go to swap. And then you're going to go ahead and select SOD and you're going to swap it out and confirm you're going to sell it and you're going to get money right back into your MetaMask wallet or your Rabi wallet. It's going to go straight into it. 
So that's the game. That's the game that's going on. That's the game that everybody's playing. But they just threw a whole nother layer onto the game on this March 15th Macau event that they just had. And I'll show you that now. If you go to SOD Mining, there only used to be one pool. There was one pool that was no lockup for your A-coin. You earn your A-coin, you stake your A-coin to earn this SOD token. So it pays 1.5% in SOD. This is where it gets interesting too, is that you're earning 1.5% on your deposited amount of A-coin, not on the actual token itself. So as the price of the token goes higher, I'm gonna earn less of the token. I'll earn the same dollar amount, but it's gonna be less of the token, if that makes sense. So it's gonna become increasingly harder to earn this SOD token. Now, on top of that, they created these new pools where you have to lock your A-coin to earn a higher percentage. If you lock up for 15 days, you're gonna get 1.7%. Didn't, it didn't like that. If you lock it for 30 days, you're going to get 1.9%. In 60 days, 2.2%. And additionally, on top of that, you're going to start collecting this NFT coin. Now, I don't know much about this, but what I but from what I'm gathering uh, is that you're going to earn enough of these NFT coins. And this is this just launched yesterday. You can see the price of the NFT coins went from one dollar to 103. So it's three percent a day. Ah, so this is another thing that you could possibly be earning off of by getting and locking in your A coin for an extended period of time. But once you have enough of those NFT coins, I think you're gonna be able to redeem them for an actual NFT and that'll earn you something else. So there's multiple layers, there's multiple things going on here, but being five weeks in, being that there's been crazy appreciation already, how do you wanna play this? Probably you don't wanna lock your tokens. You might wanna shortcut it by purchasing something off the OTC and going straight in to start mining some SOD tokens. But unless you have unlimited amount of money to keep buying OTC, the way that I'm doing it is I have some over here that, that I'm leasing that's earning me daily A coin. So I have that going on. And I purchased some OTC that I went straight into mining SOD with. So this is kind of the strategy that I'm thinking about. Um, I'm also thinking like, what is everybody else doing? I think they have another event coming up in Dubai in June. Okay, so one month from now. I think there's a whole new uh, hype cycle. More and more people are getting back into this. But again, the price is going up. And how high can this really go? I know Fintosh has $80,000 of token, but that's certainly not guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed. Like this thing could disappear tomorrow. So each day that you're writing this out, you're, you're incurring more risk. So you have to start thinking to yourself, when am I gonna take risk off the table? What's my plan for doing so? And if this gets to 10,000 a token, 20,000 a token, is there even liquidity there to, to, have, to, to pull it out? Because we can't see the contract. So this is a game. You guys, this is a high risk game that has super high reward available. So only get into this if you understand the risk and you know the game that you're playing and you have a plan of how you're gonna take your profits and at what point you're just gonna exit it completely because you don't wanna be sitting in here when you go to refresh the page and nothing comes up but a blank white screen. But there's still tons of hype about Solar Road on YouTube, it's everywhere. It's it's growing like crazy in the Asian community. So you're, you're kind of playing your odds with the popularity of Solar Road and what's going on with Solar Road, how many people are jumping in, sharing their profits. Everybody who shows what they're earning in this protocol, it just makes people FOMO into it more. Just an important reminder that I'm not a financial advisor and I'm definitely not giving you financial advice. I'm showing you what I'm doing in my crypto journey so that you guys can take that information and do as you wish with it. Hopefully I've highlighted the risks enough that you guys know the risks associated with Solar Road. And the reason that anybody would even be willing to take on those risks is because of the super high reward that could be potentially available. So here's the thing. I think we're stronger as a community. I wanna know what your guys' strategy is. How are you playing this? How am I not thinking about what angles am I not seeing? So I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I haven't got into those lock periods yet because I'm thinking how, maybe I should do the opposite of what everyone else is doing. Now I'm gonna be missing out on that NFT coin and hopefully that's not a crazy deal. I don't know yet. The other way to look at it is if I jumped into, let's say the galaxy pool and I started earning 2.2% a day in SOD, even if this thing ended up failing or rugging or didn't have liquidity at, before 60 days. So I would lose my, let's say I put 2000 in here. I'd lose that. Well, hopefully in that time period, I earned enough 2.2% of SOD that I could sell that and I could still be whole and make money. So that's another way to look at it. But I'm interested to know how you guys are playing this, how you're thinking about it. Maybe you just think it's flat out too late and that's valid too, because nobody really knows. But then again, this thing could last months and months if it's something like Fintosh. All right, guys, that's it. 
I hope you guys got value out of this. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you check out all these videos where I document exactly what I'm doing in my crypto passive income journey. You guys are amazing. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.